Alright. Where the hell are we going? Let's see. Heads up! Remnant sight ahead. I like hoodoos. Play it right and you can trick a thresher right into one. Squish. Water and weather. Nothing tougher in the long run. Looks like the cat got here before us. Where? Ah ha ha. Okay. The trump ahead contains cat like balls, Pathfinder. Bitch. Krogan needs help. His name's Drac. Really? They're all switched around. That's awkward. Shockwave should be in the middle. There we go. It's weird to change the loadout like that. Okay. Radiation levels increasing. Strange how bleeding for a place makes it feel worthwhile. Our people came a long way. 
Nothing here will stop them. Seems less harsh than when we first landed. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Now you know his name. Why would it change my layout like that? That's just... Oh, drag. Not ducking. Holy shit. Device. I advise scanning it, Pathfinder. I am invincible. That was not what I meant to do. I was unable to extract much, but it appears the cat received a nav point from these remnant cores. Can you get the nav point too? Partially. I require another core to complete the string.
This Sorry. is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Ugh, creepy crawlers. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg break. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Karkin's gotta eat. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. Pathfinder. The scanners picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Milken was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light. Be active remnant in there. Let's check it out. And it's down. resonating now probably with a vault pathfinder i detect initiative equipment nearby Any hope this researcher is still alive? That outcome is unlikely. If exposed too long, pre-vault radiation would cause terminal health issues. And maybe her work survived. 
We need to find the other research sites. Hopscotch. Okay. Picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located. Parking nest, all right. Fan out. Good one. Life support failure is imminent, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omnitool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. If you power it up, accessing I can data. data. The chief was scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a ket pulse weapon. That's it, Dilkin didn't shoot rebels. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Son of a bitch. Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. In this headset.
radiation within safe levels. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Is looking for you. Okay. So damn shiny. This ship's brand new. It'd be nice to keep her that way a little longer. Fewer gems, too. Whoops. Looks like our Pijack friend got out of his cage. He'll be fine. Won't he? The exercise will probably do him good. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and Still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow, you fight side by side, then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Mm. She's so cute. When she's not being a bitch. He's so cute. Whatever.
Strike team ready for deployment. Yes? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that vault certainly was a first. Things are gonna be interesting with you around, kid. Doesn't matter what life throws at me. It's what I make of it, right? You keep that going, you just might live as long as I have. Minus zero at the end. Now that we've been digging, it's clear you were right about Spender. Guy like that'll do anything to get ahead. Just wonder how far he went. We can talk more later. Sure. Who's so cute? Petra, I hear this joker beat you with poker too. Where'd you hear that? A little Brody told her. A gloating Brody. It was a close game. Did you give me a better game than Drat? Not saying much. Watch it. Forget him. Let's get a game going with everyone else to hone our skills and take him out. Let's do it. Hey, Costa, want in on this? No thanks. I need my creds. And my clothes. And both my kidneys. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? Seems like we have a good group here. Well, Vetra and Suvi are my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. PB's a real spark plug. I like her, but she's exhausting. And Drax's my kind of guy. Brash. Takes no shit. As far as your Hyperion peeps go... Doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. Need somebody to keep the zoo in check. Zoo? You you calling me an animal rider? Uh. Ooh, can I be a mongoose? They're like cool cobra killers. No, wait. How about a crow? Smart, irreverent, obnoxious. That's it. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> What about Kello? He's a pilot. Which means... He flies the ship. <laughs> Are you leaving it at that then? Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? I uh, hear we have you to thank for getting the Tempest space ready so quickly. Vetra brings her impossible feats to me. I was itching to get this particular call. Capital R, ready. <laughs> Don't tell her, but the truth is, I fudge reports to come in early, then bust ass in secret to make up for him. Expands the Gil legend. Plus, I convey calm and assurance, and the whole team relaxes, which helps them do their jobs better. What's your social circle like? Oh, I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. Sweet. How tough was it on the Nexus all those months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? Hasn't everyone? Well, then you know. 
It's super tough. Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation. Imagining which would be worse. But hey, you could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic history. Maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. He's so damn adorable. Hey there, got a sec? Sure. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Pathfinder? Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. We'll talk later. I know it. Hey, Ryder. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. <laughs> it's shinies. Strike team ready for deployment. Seventy six percent. Hello, Sarah. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more.
Hey, there you are. Check your helmet before you put it on. This scratch, he was sleeping in mine. I can't help it. He's budget. Ready for deployment. So cute. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. I'm picking up something. Anomaly on sensors.
told you she fell. The doc says that break is a textbook case of being hit with bionics. Hard. Then they're lying too, because she fell. Did you come two million light years to be a scumbag abuser? Or do you want to grow a spine and admit you fucked up? <laughs> Apex personnel, please check your I hear you went down to EOS. Did you find anything to help my case? An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's omni tool recorded you over the body. Sam, play back. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Director Tan will determine what's to be done. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. She's so cute. Civil disobedience has been reported in hydroponics. Security is investigating. Moon likes to think he's keeping an eye on us. Works both ways. This is how all those worlds look from the Nexus. We forget how beautiful they are. I think I already read that data pad. It is at least several degrees warmer everywhere else. It's all in your head, Tan. I have to go. <laughs> I know you're doing this on purpose. And now I really have to go. Something I can help you with? <sighs> Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. These things are almost never black and white. I know. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? It was crazy down there. Life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos, but he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have this sordid business behind us. Hi, Ryder.
more practical to build these vaults on the surface. Find your rider, if you will. Nah, crack my engineers and acid underground construction a millennium ago. These remnant fellows probably had the same idea. Wouldn't mind a seismometer reading, though. Sam, any chance? Hello, Pathfinder. A moment. Uh -huh. What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. That could be a ship, or even turbulence in the Scourge we should know about. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into SAM node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. So I can't even talk to you? What kind of shit is that? Hi, Pathfinder. Want to hit some rocks for science? Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Magical. What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't rely for me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Okay, so I hear them. Make them know. Make them lead or make them go. What's going on? That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. I founded the outpost. I didn't decide who would stay in stasis. 
You don't care that you've torn families apart? That's not what I said. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. Okay, I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. Fourteen months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her! Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Our Nexus are alive! Safety's on, I guess. Tell our leader to wake the sleepers. Sure. Let me know what materials you need, and I'll find you something. That's a relief. Thanks for helping out. I owe you one. Fallout from the recent uprising as security tightens across all sectors of the Nexus. Director Tan stresses that it's quote. I'm going to go ahead and make this a short video because I really do need to go to bed because I have a long day tomorrow. Um, but thanks for watching.